Over the past few years, Minneapolis has lost more than 200 police officers. In order to recruit, you also have to be able to retain. The city is now taking steps to reward officers who stay. As Mariel Mose reports, it's something some in the community are embracing. Jean Harris cut back her time spent in her community garden on the north side because she's worried about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just the fear of crime can be as debilitating and, and, and have a negative impact on your entire quality of life. Harris wants to see more police patrolling the area, but she knows that wish will go unfulfilled with Minneapolis police staffing so low. In the last three years, there were nearly 900 sworn NPD officers at the end of 2019. That number slightly dropped in 2020 and then took a dramatic drop at the end of last year. Today, MPD only has 602 officers, 300 less than they should. So moved. Second. On Thursday morning, the Minneapolis City Council expanded on a one-time bonus pay of $7,000 for MPD employees, both unionized and not, for staying on the force. This is the city's way of rewarding officers for their loyalty. We appreciate a tangible form of acknowledgement that our job matters, and, and I don't think that we can overemphasize that when it comes to the police. The council took another step forward towards a new police chief. They voted unanimously to approve Mayor Fry's nomination of Brian O'Hara to go to a public hearing in the coming weeks, something Harris is excited to see progress on. We need someone who's aggressive and perhaps has that hard edge to him where he's going to be no nonsense. Just like she won't be giving up on growing her vegetables during a dry season. I never accept failure. Harris won't give up on her neighborhood. North Minneapolis has so much potential. They just need a lot of support and people to believe in them and to challenge them. In North Minneapolis, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. In addition to bonus pay for MPD officers, the council also approved allowing accrued vacation time to carry over until the end of next year. Since there are staffing shortages, many officers have not been able to use all of their paid time off.